A piano. May Trev, welcome. Today is Sunday. It's 12th of July and what a cold day. We've got a cold, miserable cold weekend actually and we've had a bit of rain, drizzly rain. So um, yeah, so it's a good time to stay inside and play music. Yeah, that's what I love doing. I enjoy it. So, and uh, I hope you had a great weekend so far, yeah. Ah. And I've been, uh, actually re been busy recording for my music channel, actually. So, um, check out the music channel, that, that'll be up. Check it out, yeah. Trev's music channel, just go to that and check all the songs that I've been doing over the last, uh, since, well, <laughs> since September last year, I think, that's when I started, I think. And, uh, I'm getting, I'm very close to the, uh, the 50, 50th um, uh, song on the channel. Yeah, that's coming up. So, uh, yeah. Ah. Now, on this, uh, a little bit of a change with the um, uploads. Now, previously I've been doing, I've been, well, at the latest, I've been uploading each week on a Monday. So instead of a Monday, I'm going to upload on a Sunday, each Sunday, so instead of Monday. It's because it's getting, it's getting a bit, going to be a, get hectic with, during the week, especially on a Monday, with my work. So I've got to try and work around with my work. So I find Sunday, as well as putting up Trev's music channel, um, I'll put up a vlog on this channel. So um, that's going to be on a Sunday. If it doesn't come on a Sunday, well, if I don't upload it on a Sunday, well, I'll try and put it up on a Monday. So anyway, that's the way it's going to be. And uh, yeah. <laughs> now, playing the piano is a very simple thing to play and it's very enjoyable. Once you learn how to play the chords and the melody, the structure of everything, You'll, you really, really enjoy it uh, playing songs. So um, you can play all sorts of tunes, and it becomes fun, a lot of fun. And uh, it's a beautiful machine, this uh, Casio um, WK1800, and uh, it really need to. Um, Really, it needs uh, upgrading, really, because I've had this for, since nine, 2003, 2003, and then into 2004, that's when I bought it. And um, so it takes a floppy disk, actually. Remember, remember the floppy disks? The computers used to take them, and um, it's, this is what it takes. And I still use them. I still use these uh, floppy disks, because I use them for backup tracks. And that's how I use um, backup tracks for my channel, YouTube channel, when I'm doing, not always, not always the case, um, but these are all backing tracks. So there's the, the floppy disk, remember those old things, little thin, but now they, um, now these days computers don't take them anymore because uh, now it's all converted to uh, flash drives, like the USB flash drives. So, um, but now you can get these keyboards with, uh, with the USB ports so you can just record it onto a flash drive so I don't really want to part this because I've got the backing tracks <laughs> on uh, some of my songs and uh, unfortunately I had to re recreate some of the backing tracks that I used in my earlier recordings because um, they got ruined um, because once you got to be careful with these uh, floppy disks they're very brittle they're very thin and very delicate 
So if you bend them, or and if you get any any condensation on them, that's it. They're stuffed. Yeah, <laughs> they're buggered. So um, I've ruined some of them. I have got ruined because they've been left out in the shed, out in the cold. But this one's okay. So um, I just recreate them. So that's really good. So one of these days, I'll um, I'd like to get an upgrade of another keyboard um, with a USB flash drive. So uh, these Casios now are getting uh, more sophisticated, and some some of the best models are now is Roland. No, Roland, how you going, Roland? Yeah, they're the best best um, pianos around, but they're very very expensive. So you need a big wallet <laughs> for those. But anyway, because I enjoy playing with this um, keyboard very much, and it's hard to part from. <laughs> so uh, yeah. Now, I'm going to show you my camera that I use uh, when I'm doing a music channel. On the music channel, uh, I use this camera. In case you're wondering, I have shown you the once before, but those who are new to my channel, um, this is the camera I use. It's a Nikon. Yeah. It's a professional camera, really. And it has a uh, screen. So you can uh, do selfies, so you can see what you're doing, and it's on a tripod. Now this tripod is really having, I'm having trouble with this tripod, and I've had it for a long time, and it's Slick F153, that's the name of the tripod, and uh, has a little lever, but I'm having trouble with this lever, so um, I've sort of tightened it a little bit now, but you know, I'm getting a new one. I'm getting a new tripod so that's going to come in the mail by post so I, I've ordered it on um, wish that's the wish app that's a great it's a great app to if you want to order things so it's a professional tripod that I've got on order so I'm going to show you that when I get it yeah so I'm really excited with that mm. so um, but this one is okay but it has its days but I might just use it as it on the side and I sometimes use another tripod which I use, which is a miniature one. Um, this one is the, uh, this one you can stand on, on the table. So it's only a, it's the same make as a slick. And uh, it's good for when you're on the table or in confined spaces. <laughs> yes. So I've got two tripods. I've gone through so many tripods, a lot of them broken up. And, uh, me, Trev. Welcome. Today is Friday. Friday, 10th of July. Last day of the week. Start of a new weekend. Yeah, <laughs> whoopee. Yeah. And it's afternoon, late in the afternoon. And I've just knocked off work. So I've had a busy day of community driving. So um, now I'm home. Now I'm just about to go and do some shopping while I've got a chance. Now. <laughs> so. I've had a big day and uh, I've got another week, busy week next week. Monday is going to be mayhem. <laughs> Reason why I call it mayhem and busy, busy, what I do is um, I have so many um, people to pick up and drop off all day, yeah. So, and also groups, day groups as well, I do that. So I've got an early morning rise on Monday because schools go back. In, especially in the northeast here in Victoria, um, because here in Wangaratta, there's no there's no cases of the COVID-19 uh, situation, so we're, everything's free, everything normal really. So uh, school kids go back, so we've got to go and pick up a uh, pick up someone to go to school. So it's going to be mayhem because there's going to be buses everywhere, buses, buses, buses. <laughs> But it's all good. Anyway, I'm off to do some shopping. Yeah. Now, where am I? Yeah, I'm in your spot, Frank. <laughs> yes. In your spot in Aldi car park. Yeah. So he parked here, somewhere along here. <laughs> anyway, so I've got your spot now. <laughs> yes. So, of course, over the road there is a motel over there, so... Billabong Motel over there, so there you go. If you want to stay for the night, go to the Billabong Motel. 
as, as long as you are okay, free from COVID-19, they might accept you. I don't know. I don't know what they do with these motels, whether they put up with people. Um, as long as you're local, fine. <laughs> and you don't have any symptoms, fine. It's okay. Yeah. Anyway, I've got to go and do some shopping in our Aldi. Uh, yeah. I'm done for the day. Yes. Mate Rev, welcome. Today is Saturday, July 11th. 11th of July. Yes, and what are you doing? And today is very, very cold outside. Absolutely freezing today. And we've had a little bit of rain. We've had about 22 millimetres of rain since yesterday. Yeah, so um, we've had a good drop. What am I going to do, Trev? Okay, now, remember remember a few weeks back I did a, a vlog on bacon in a Turkish roll. You might remember that. Okay, so this is, this is a, if we're going to do another one, at a difference. So we're going to use bacon. This is streaky bacon. It's best to use this. And, or you can use middle um, bacon rashes if you want to and what I've what I've bought is a um, from Aldi actually and I think it's a great idea it's called a bacon cooker bacon cooker it's a tray and you've got a lid and it goes in the microwave oven yes microwave oven so I'm going to put these two bacon rashes in the microwave for three minutes three minutes and then I'm going to put it into a Turkish roll, which is already buttered, and got the cheese on it. So I'm just going to the sliced cheese. I just break it in half, just like that. Yeah, you need one slice. Just break it in half, so it'll look like that. So there's the sliced cheese. Yeah. Because the bacon is going to go along there. So, okay. Now, I'm going to use two bacon rashes. So what I'm going to do, you don't need oil. You don't need any sprays. You put a bacon in there. And another one in there. Looks like it might be a little bit bigger than usual. Just like that. Yeah. Then I'm going to put the lid on this. And this will go in the microwave for two, now for three minutes. Three minutes, boys. And guys, girls. <laughs> um, I love bacon. Who doesn't like bacon? <laughs> I love bacon. Yeah, I grew up with bacon. Um, do you like your bacon? <laughs> yeah, come to my place. <laughs> so, okay, we're going to put that in the microwave. And um, then I'm going to be putting this 
in the toaster oven, which I do have. Okay, this is going in the microwave oven. Three minutes. Now while the bacon is in the um, microwave, don't forget every minute or so, turn it over. Turn the bacon strip over. So it's cooking in the microwave. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do next. Okay, now we've taken the bacon out see what it looks like. Uh, it may shrink a bit. Bacon always shrinks in there. So, um, yeah. And this is the first time I've ever used the, um, this bacon cooker. So I'm just going to put this bacon there. And I'm going to put the other strip there. On top of the uh, roll, Turkish roll. Now that looks good. It's the first time I've ever used this. <laughs> so, I'm excited. I'm just going to put that on top of there. And I'm just going to put this in the toaster. This is my toaster oven. And I'm just going to put this in there. Um, down a bit and I'm going to put this on 150 for about eight to nine minutes that should be right we'll see how we go <laughs> now while the bacon and the turkey in the Turkish roll in the toaster oven while it's toasting and um, well, actually, this is great. This is great stuff. The, um, the bacon cooker. Very, makes, uh, it's very good if you're having bacon and eggs. Good with your eggs. Um, I don't have eggs because I don't eat eggs because I'm allergic to it. Um, so if you're, if you're allergic to eggs and you just love the bacon, well, this is the way to go. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So the bacon cooker. It's a great thing. You get this in Aldi. No, it's pretty cheap too as well. So, um, that's a great thing. When I first saw it, I thought, wow, bacon cooker. Wow, yeah. And you can get a steam egg poacher as well. Steam egg poacher. So, as I said, I'm allergic to eggs, so <laughs> it's no use for me buying it, is it? And I know Frank will be, uh, probably will like that. So, um, there you go. Ah, oh, just got to wait for me. Roll. Okay. Now we've got our Turkish bacon and cheese in the Turkish roll. Let's get this. Better. <laughs> Better. And uh, we're just going to have a taste. So get yourself micro 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 safe bacon cooker. Good stuff. Yeah. Mm, this is good. Now it's time for a cuppa and a chat with Trev. Yes. What have we got today? Well, we got uh, flavored milk. Remember the little flavored milks that I tried. And um, this, I found a new one. It's called Chiquito. Yeah, remember there's a Chiquito. Cho yeah, if I can get the name right, Chiquito chocolate bars we have in Australia. Don't know whether they have any in any other countries or not. 
but <coughs> we're going to try this one. I've never tried Chiquito um, flavoured milk, so let's try it, eh? <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and what we got? Biscuits. Hundreds and thousands. Yeah. Hundreds and thousands. I hope you have a great week and uh, of course last Monday I fell over, <laughs> slipped over on the pavement in my own city and uh, I skid winded both of my knees, my right one was the worst one but it, I sort of uh, recovered eventually, Tuesday was very painful but as the, Wednesday, as the week got, went by, it sort of um, got a bit better. So it's all okay, my ordeal <laughs> for the week. A uh, bit of drama. Mm. Not a bad taste. A bit of caramel in that. And a bit of coconut. Tastes like it. <laughs> anyway, it's all good. And, uh, whoop, yeah, the biscuits are very brittle. They've got hundreds and thousands. They're yeah, like a, you know, with a bit of icing on it and a bit of some uh, hundreds and thousands. You can call them speckles or, or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Mm, it's alright. It's all good. So, yeah, no, it's all, all recovered from that. And, um, uh, and I'm still looking for rent still here <laughs> it's going to take a while I think because the listings the rent is pretty high there's so many people who are looking out for rent and uh, anyhow I got to make a correction um, a couple of weeks about a week ago back a week ago I um, did a shout out about Bruce's milkshakes in Melbourne. Where's Bruce's milkshakes in Melbourne? Well, I found out um, there's no such thing as Bruce's milkshakes in Melbourne. It's in probably in Sydney, fine. Um, but I sort of made a mis misunderstanding actually. It's Boost milkshakes. Boost milkshake. Yeah, have a get a bit of a boost. Yes. So, if you see a van going around selling boost milkshakes and smoothies, and I believe. Um, Uh, juices, juice, yes, but mostly milkshakes. Anyway, they make the best milkshakes, boosts. So if you find them anywhere, they're a vendor, and they could be in your uh, city shopping centre somewhere. I have seen them. Yes, uh, I have tried it. I think there was one in Wodonga, I think, um, or was it in Albury? I'm not too sure. But anyway, they're around. So um, if, you, if you see them, tell them I sent you to get yourself a milkshake. <laughs> because milkshake Trev said. This is nice. This is really nice. Maybe I should make a Chiquito milkshake. Yeah, that'd be good, eh? I'll have to do that one. Okay. Mm. So there you go, Boost Milkshakes. Boost. Ah, <laughs> uh, thank you, thank you Boost Milkshakes for uh, ringing me. They actually phoned me about it. And um, yeah, so there you go. I had to make a correction now. <clears throat> now Boost Milkshakes 
That could be anywhere. Melbourne. That could be Wangaratta. Shepparton. Anywhere. Ballarat, Bendigo, maybe. Yeah. Bodonga. Yeah. So, um, there at Wangaratta, I think. Along Tone Road. Just outside the Holden Car Dealers. That's where they will be. As well as the Spud Train. Yeah, get grab a Spud as well. And listen to some live music as well. Some good talent. Great. Yeah. So there you go. So don't go to Melbourne looking for a boost. Well, they may be in Melbourne somewhere. But they're all over the place. So if you see them in your, in your shopping centre or anywhere, grab a milkshake. <laughs> yes. I've been writing songs and I've been, I have written some songs that I've written a long time ago and uh, here's one I've just started writing last month ago actually <laughs> it's, and it's called Singing in the Bedroom Singing in the Bedroom Do you sing in your bedroom? Or do you sing in your shower? <laughs> Excuse me Nothing else to do can't go anywhere to singing in the bedroom with the teddy bears My guitar in hand, tight strum along Locked down in my house, time to sing the song The chorus will go Singing in the bedroom and I have an audience You are in my camera this lockdown Unfortunately, the walls in my little bed with dolls and teddy bears Nothing else to do but sing go crazy in my head I can dance away and sing a song today I have a crowd of audience more, more bigger than the stage Tonight I'm having fun, you know, singing songs to you This music is my virus and I don't have the flu <laughs> What do you reckon? Uh, and here's another one, I wrote this one a long time ago It's called Teddy and I So these are kids songs, children's songs Actually I've written Teddy and I I'll just sing the chorus Teddy and I, Teddy and I, in my little bed. Teddy and I, tonight we've both been fed. You are so cuddly, but when you are by my side. Teddy and I, we'll both sleep by and by. <laughs> and another one I wrote a long time ago, um, it's Dream Time, it's Wonderland. Yeah. Hello there, little girl, come and hear my song. Picture now in your mind, things are here so strong. A carby house just for you, a pony out the back. It's dream time here, here all around, and a little old cubby shack. <laughs> it's dream time, it's wonderland, a town of make-believe. Lots of lollies, ice cream treats, Barbie dolls to see. Oh, dancing dolls and decorations in the carby house. Bunny rabbits, little elves, as well as Mickey Mouse. <laughs> yeah, I wrote that, like, <laughs> I started writing that in 1994. That's when I started writing it. <laughs> and another one which actually, um, probably might be starting to record this one, the Rock and Roll Girl. Yeah, so, Rock and Roll Girl would be another one. So, um, this is some songs I've been writing. I'm a bit of a whiz on writing. And, uh, <laughs> Yeah. Now, before I finish this vlog, I'm going to do a uh, question of the day. Yeah, question of the day. I'll be doing this each week. A question of the day. And um, this one where it says, when, were, when you were at primary school, did your teacher read a storybook to everyone in class? Comment on the, put a comment out. When you were at primary school, did your teacher read a storybook? You know, when you're in class, the teacher brings the book out, starts reading the story, and that, did that happen to you at your school when you were at school? <laughs> I'll reveal that next week. Anyway, 
I hope you enjoy the rest of your week and I shall see you next Sunday my next vlog so anything I, I uh, film during the week and the weekend I'll put it up on this vlog so anyway enjoy the rest of your week create harmony peace bye you never know what I get up to next <laughs> bye and enjoy you kids enjoy back to school too as well too all the holidays are over <laughs> enjoy it they see you along the road. Bye.